Warning, this is a movie discussion as well as a review. The whole thing is a spoiler. Life, a tale of smart, dumb people in outer space. Life is a new sci-fi film with an old sci-fi formula. Alien gets aboard ship, alien fucks everybody up, and whoever's left has to stop said alien from getting to Earth. There's always a few minor variations to this formula, but ultimately, the fucker's on the ship and it's fucking everybody up. Been there, done that. So the question is, does this film present this formula in a unique enough way to keep it interesting? The answer, for me anyway, is kinda. There's some glaring flaws that kept this from being a really high rated movie for me. I can accept rehashing old formulas and plots, so that wasn't the problem, but I'll start with what was. My first dislike, dumbass smart people. I'm gonna start with you, also known as Crazy Legs, also known as Great Value Idris Elba. You, played by British actor Arian Bakare, somehow caused a clamp failure which set off this horrific chain of events. I don't wanna blame him for that though. It just seemed like a forced plot convenience. But let me tell you why Hugh is still an idiot. Calvin, unsurprisingly, is growing at a significant rate. Calvin is like no other creature to ever exist, or at least to be discovered. That doesn't stop Hugh, however, from petting him like he's a little bunny rabbit and poking him and giving him high fives and shit, just getting way too comfortable. And when Calvin goes into a deep sleep, what does you do? He fucking electrocutes him. Now let's just say you're taking a nap and somebody electrocutes the shit out of you. Calvin woke up like, oh, fuck this shit and broke every bone in Hugh's hand. <laughs> and then he stabbed his way out of his little incubator or whatever that thing is. Up until this point, Calvin showed no signs of being hostile. I can only assume he wasn't too fond of being zapped. So here's where the rest of the crew all want their turns to be done. Miranda, played by Rebecca Ferguson, is the quarantine officer. They have a whole quarantine officer, yet nobody wants to listen to her. Hugh is all fucked up. And everyone is outside the lab door yelling, get him out of there. And Miranda's like, you better not open that goddamn door. So Calvin proceeds to devour the lab rat in seconds. And Rory played by Ryan Reynolds, he's like, fuck it, I'm going in there. Then Rory gets Hugh out, and Calvin attaches himself to Rory's leg, which is when Dr. David Jordan, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, closes the door and doesn't let Rory out the lab. Okay, smart. But once Calvin gets inside of Rory's body, Dr. Jordan is screaming to let Rory back out of the lab. Bitch, for what? Nice knowing you, Rory. I'm not letting that little psychotic fucker out that lab. Miranda manages to keep them from letting Rory out. We all know what happens to him after that. And then the next dumb decision. So Sho, played by Hiroyuki Sanada, in what he thought was a rescue mission, he manages to find himself being sucked out of the ship with, with Calvin clinging to his body. Miranda is holding him by the arm. She waits until Calvin climbs all the way up Sho's body and grabs her before she actually tries to let go, at which point Sho has to pull Calvin off of her. Why do y'all keep trying to let this little bastard back into y'all lives? You've seen his fucking death grip. If he grabs you and he lets you go, it's because he wanted to. Don't let him do it. Come on, I get it. We're all human and sometimes act on emotion. <laughs> But you're the fucking quarantine officer. What you're doing is the exact opposite of quarantining. I'm not done with dumb decisions. Another one, um, I'm not, well, I'm not hundred percent sure about this. Um, it was another doctor. I think she's a doctor. Um, Ekaterina Golovkina. Um, that was the, the character's name. She's played by Olga Diovchanya. I'm trying with these names here. Um, she goes outside the ship because <laughs> Calvin's ass then ate all the coolant, okay? And it's needed to contact um, Earth. Calvin jumps on her 
And she decides she's not going to let him back on the ship. So she pretty much sacrifices herself. But I don't know why she didn't just push herself like way into space somewhere and at least make it a little more challenging for Calvin to get back to the ship. But I guess if she had done it that way, we wouldn't have been able to watch her die a slow, horrible, painful death. My next, my next dislike. How come nobody on the space station seemed to know the protocol? Miranda was like, yeah, they're coming here to knock us out further into space. It's in the paperwork. I think it was twice she mentioned that something was in the protocol that everybody had signed and agreed on. Apparently, everybody but the people on the, the, on the space station. So mostly my dis my strong dislikes were rooted in poor decision making, and, you know, by supposedly intelligent people. I also didn't like how when the coolant went out, there was no backup for communication with Earth. I'm not a space station expert, but come on, there's no backup. Anyway, my um semi dislike <laughs> um was Calvin too smart. How did he know so much shit for something that was just a cell and some fucking dirt? He knows an awful lot of shit. He knows everything about the ship. He knew how to escape his little incubator thing. I mean, I guess it's possible. I've seen rodents use tools of sorts to escape cages and shit. Um, It just seemed like he knew a a little bit too much. And it it was stated that every cell in his body or whatever was all brain and all muscle. Okay. um, I do have a theory that was never hinted at, but I'm going to put it out there. Calvin is consuming people, right? But he's not eating them. He appears to be taking something from them as nourishment because it makes him grow. But what is it? Is it blood? Is it cells? I don't know. But the first person he consumed was Rory, who happened to be the mechanic. What if Calvin somehow consumes or absorbs everything that he, he you know gets from people, everything that they know? What if that's how he grows and becomes smarter every time he consumes, consumes someone or something? I don't know. It's just a theory. Um, I also think he wrapped himself around Hugh's leg because he knew Hugh couldn't feel it. I don't know. Um, Anyway, at the end, Calvin, he didn't fly the little escape pod to Earth. He kept the doctor from overriding um, the autopilot, which is set to reentry to Earth's atmosphere. So he wasn't smart enough to control the escape pod or to fly it, but he deliberately held both Um, the doctor's hands to keep him from overriding the system. How did he know how to do this? (laughs) Um, It just seemed like a bit much. So my likes about this film, first and foremost, some of the death scenes literally made me squirm or just like turn my head away, especially the chick with the coolant in her helmet. I thought she was sweating at first, but nah, she was about to die a slow, painful death. Watching someone drown as her helmet slowly fills with a thick, toxic liquid. That was terrible. And when Calvin went inside Rory's mouth, and you knew he was suffocating while Calvin was simultaneously doing who knows what to his insides, that was pretty fucked up. So my next like is Calvin. (laughs) The most challenging thing about creating a new alien is, you know, the alien, the alien itself. Um, You know, that would be the design and how it looks what its attributes are, strengths, weaknesses, defenses, you know, um, does their physical body contribute to their defenses? Like, do they have an exoskeleton? Do they spit acid? Stuff like that. And that's important because your alien has to be unique. I think Calvin was unique enough. He's basically what you would get if a starfish, the blob, remember the blob, a jellyfish, and a face hugger had a baby. And Calvin ain't no fucking joke. You can kill pretty much anything with fire. Not Calvin's ass. His whole existence is fire resistant. And we're shown that very early on. I'm sure that was intentional. That was the first thing they reached for. Calvin was like, nope. And he appears to store oxygen and be able to go out into space butt ass naked. Calvin is definitely new. (laughs) Definitely some new shit. One of a kind. Some may find that unrealistic. But even Hugh says that Calvin's been able to withstand things that no living creature should be able to. The final likes, um, once again, uh, another movie with great visuals, the outer, the space shots, the ship, um, everybody floating around with nice white socks on because they ain't got to walk. 
uh, visually, this was a great film. Audibly, it also had a great score. Um, I also enjoyed the international cast as well as the acting. Um, the pacing was nice. They set the stage pretty quickly and got right to the action. But they did a very good job of explaining the scientificals. Yes, I said scientificals. The scientificals of everything. Everything that was going on with the ship, the crew, Calvin. I felt really informed and like I really knew what was happening. Then, of course, there's the ending. Miranda's escape pod gets knocked off course. And, you know, for whatever reason, I, I you know, I don't know if that was just luck um, on Calvin's part. Um, so I give this um, life a strong 7.5. Um, it really kept me interested. I thought it was intense. I enjoyed it. It wasn't exactly the same as, as all these other movies are. Still a lot of stupid um, mistakes by supposedly really smart people. So like I said, I gave it a, a 7.5. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at moviebuffchick1. Subscribe. Let me know how you're doing.